to the top of the circle and finally Chartroff forced to take it right out to center ice and the U.S. coming back in over the line right in front of the goal Sergeant breaking for the net and Bashan got a piece of that Steve Shot has returned well here's the replay on uh, Bobby Orr he went out to block the shot he went down low on Sergeant Shot, and he seemed to catch the puck on his left hand uh, just uh, below his wrist uh, perhaps his thumb and uh, he was in pain right from the start he immediately there he is shaking it uh, he stayed on for just a few seconds then headed to the bench 58 seconds remaining in the penalty to Jensen. Dennis Puckman behind his own goal for Canada. No score in the opening period. We played four and a half minutes. Here's Bobby Orr. Up to center ice for Canada with Powell. Drops it back to Marcel Dion. Dion to Esposito. Esposito gets it. He scores! Again, that group of Dion, Esposito, Hull, Bobby Orr, what a power play. They moved that puck up. They take their time. Phil Esposito gets the puck in the corner, looks in front, and sees Hull off the far side as the pass comes across. It banked off uh, the defender into the net. This is Canada Cup 76 on CTV. Seasons ago in the NHL, he was voted the NHL Coach of the Year. This is LaPointe, number five. For Canada to Jim Watson. Watson, a member of the Philadelphia Flyers, returns it to LaPointe to Gilbert Perrault. Right in a goal, and Lopresti stops that. Fogel and number 20 up for it for the USA. By Watson. Watson ahead to Martin, to Perrault. Perrault skating in on the right side. Kerr breaking for the goal, takes the pass. Oh, Lopresti stops that as Kerr was right at appearance in the Canada Cup Series on this line. And here comes Steve Jack, a long shot, and Lopresti stops that. Sergeant or Team USA ahead to the line has trouble with it. Shot ahead to Keel McClure. Robinson breaking in. There's a shot by of the Team USA goal. LaFleur, number 10. Right onto the stick. And it racing after it, number 14. But it comes to Larry Robinson. Robinson a pass to LaFleur. Right to that goal, a shot. Oh, Christy got a piece of that. And now Leach runs into Christie. But gets the pass ahead to Leach. His shot. And LaFresti gets a piece of that. And or returns the pass to Potvin, who comes to center. A feed on the right to Sittler, breaking into Potvin. Another shot. Oh, Lopresti just deflected that, but I believe it was wide. Oh, wide with Marcel Dion, but Team USA breaks back. Telephus takes it in the skates, in over the line. Here's Robbie Petorek in front. Deflection, which goes wide, and back on. Stops Petorek from close range. Well, Petorek made a very nice play there. He held on to it, held on to it, and he saw Jensen streaking in from the left side, and he tried to get the puck. There's Jensen moving in. He tried to get the puck to him. It went off Jensen's skate. Petorek got another try at it. To the top player on each team following tonight's game. Dennis Potvin, number six, leads it into the corner. Shot, tries to return it to Mohavlic. Hits it back to the line. Here's Orr. Winds up. at center for Canada. Four minutes and 38 seconds remain in the opening period. Here's Martin. Oh, and Lopresti stops that. And the line by Potvin to Dion. In front to Holy Bobby Hall puts that in the left-hand side of the net with a minute and 45 seconds remaining. Canada takes a 3-0 lead. Well, we just mentioned young Mr. Dion and, and he makes a very nice play here. Potvin throws it in the corner. He sees Bobby Hall in the slot and he shoots all in one motion. A typical Bobby Hall. By Steve Shutt. Intercepted by Shutt. Shutt number 22 right in. Oh, and Lopresti stopped that as Steve Shutt took it from Christie. Here's Watson inside the line. Back to Key LaFleur. Returns it to Watson. His shot. Deflected the front. Oh, and another shot. Hits the skate in front of Lopresti. LaFleur. Out to center, back comes Team USA, led by Ahern, his shot, scores! Ahern, let that one fly, and it beat Rogi Vasquez.
John and Team USA is on the scoreboard. Well, it was a very good shot. Actually, it was a two-on-one situation. Here we see a Hearn with the puck, uh, with the other U.S. player breaking. He didn't look for the pass. He shot right away, and it just catches the top corner on Rodney Vashon. Very good shot by a Hearn. Here we see Orr striving to get back and tie up the player, the U.S. player in front of the net. Number 19. Gets it out. Here's a great goal of Flaherty, and Vashon comes away out of the net. Ball watched by Robbie Petorek. Here's Jensen running on goal. Shot he scores! Jensen! And Tom, just to echo your statement of no more than two minutes ago, they have to watch it, and they didn't there with Petorek and Jensen capitalizing on a mistake. Well, Bobby Hall tried to throw it across to LaPointe, and Steve Jensen just shot in between them, picked up the puck, and shot it by a surprise Rodney Vashon. This is Canada. Here's Sergeant. His shot. Oh, and it hit Watson on the side of the head, and he's hurt. Watson took that shot at the side of his head. I think high on the forehead, and Lefty Wilson, the veteran trainer, is out there. Here's Sergeant moving right in. There's the shot off Sergeant's stick, and it hits Jimmy Watson right on the side of the head. I hope he's all right. He went down immediately. Lefty Wilson was over the boards. By Gare. But here's Hans Lieben's shot, deflected by LaPointe wide. Into the corner. Here's a Hearn shooting the puck, and he came within an ace of getting a second goal. The same type of shot that he scored his first goal with. Rogi Vashaw had to be very, very quick here to get his right pad on it. Here it is. The leg comes out, lower part of his pad. And checked by Sittler. Leach in front. Carver couldn't reach it. Slaps it off the board. Sittler behind the net. He's checked. Still has the puck. Oh, and he tried to set it up. Here's Barber's shot. And Lopresti stopped that. In the crossbar. Well, here we uh, we have the quick shot. The puck almost gets by Lopresti. And Norris, in desperation, fires the puck. On. USA to Craig Patrick. Right in front. Here's Martin. The shot. Oh, and Lopresti stopped that. A one-on-one -on -one situation, Martin let it go, and Lopresti again in top four. Well, what a stop that was, and, and here we have Milbury very loose with the puck. Martin takes his time, goes around, Lopresti goes down, but he manages it. Over to Savard, Martin gets a shot, oh, and it goes wide, less than two minutes. Uh, wisely, here's Martin's shot, Lopresti just made a sparkling save on it, it comes against the boards, and they're trying to get the face off here, so they get a change of the troops. Fresh man out there to try and get the puck out of their own zone. Here we see it from another angle. Again, Martin all in one. Oh, and Lopresti just gets that leg out there and makes a great stop. The way Team USA is playing, they're making it very, very difficult for Team Canada. First time in the series a goalie has been pulled, and here's Bobby Orr with 32 seconds. Sargent at his own blue line, watched by Barber. There's it to Telephus. 25 seconds remain. The net is empty. Barber runs into Telephus. Norris goes in to help him out. 18 seconds remain. Sergeant. He's checked. Here's Sittler. Shot. He scores! Daryl Sittler scores into the empty net with 13 seconds remaining. Well, uh, you can look at just the most happy faces for Team Canada. They haven't taken this game lightly, and they're very, very happy that they got that insurance goal at that point. But Daryl Sittler's persistence paid off, and actually, it was a very good shot because he was at a very difficult angle, even though the goaltender was out of the net. He's very deep in the corner. Here's his persistence, pokes it ahead. Here we have him shooting from inside the dot, catches the corner, and he had to thread the needle a little bit, even though there wasn't a goaltender there. Daryl Sittler from Peter Mohavlik at 1947. Nine seconds remain now. Naira. It's Canada 4. USA 2. Naira in front of his own goal. Bobby Orr has it at center. There goes the fire in the game. is over. And the Team Canada players rush off the bench to congratulate Rogatin Bashan at the other end. Team USA bench files off quickly to congratulate Pete Lepresti. He gave up three goals, four, and not much argument there. And he gets the thunder of ovation here at the Montreal Forum. Pete Lepresti, the top player, is the most valuable player on Team Canada. And he receives his effort.